Charter Local Edition with your host, John McDonald. Hello and welcome. We're visiting today with Montana Superintendent of Public Instruction, Denise Juno. Hi. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you for taking some time you to visit it. with us. So I want to talk to you a little bit about uh, some of the initiatives that are going on with our Office of Public Instruction. Mm -hmm. But first, tell us a little bit about your background and right. um, how long you've been the superintendent. Sure. So I'm originally from Browning, so Montana native, um, who has been... I, graduated from Browning High School, went on to Montana State University, the Harvard Graduate School of Education, and eventually um, a law degree from the University of Montana. And I've worked as a teacher, turned attorney, turned back to education, worked at the agency that I now oversee, the Office of Public Instruction, and ran for the top position in 2008 and have been serving in that capacity since then. Tell me a little bit, you've had a, a couple of initiatives underway recently. Let's talk first about the initiative Graduation Matters. Mm -hmm. What is that? Let's uh, talk a little bit and tell folks what that is. So when I first stepped into office, I noticed that we had a pretty significant dropout rate. There were over 2,000 students across the state dropping out each year, and so I knew we had to do something about it and started an initiative called Graduation Matters Montana that we've learned, we learned a lot of lessons from across the state about what the good work schools were doing and kind of wanted to replicate some of those efforts. Mm -hmm and just really put a focus on data, worked with schools community by community around grassroots sort of plans, bringing communities together, small businesses at the table, schools at the table, students at the table, to really have deep conversations about what could decrease the dropout rate. And it's been great, and we have 53 communities across the state now that are now engaged in graduation matters. That's about 80% of the high school students in the state are attending the school where there's a Graduation Matters initiative. We've been able to uh, secure over a million dollars that goes out to schools that we then use to seed fund their efforts. And the result of that hard work going on in those communities has resulted in our historically high graduation rate of 85.4%. So we're really proud of that work and the work that those communities are that, doing. That's great. Mm -hmm. You mentioned that one of the things you look at are some of the initiatives that communities have mm -hmm. used that work. In doing the research on that, what are some of those initiatives that you found were, were really working in the communities? Well, it really was bringing the public in. You know, we are a public education system and really mm -hmm. engaging the small businesses, the nonprofit organizations, anybody who might want to be connected as part of the public and bringing them in, being truthful about information and data, and then talking about the role everybody has to play in supporting students to graduation. And that's really been the key. There are peer mentoring programs, there are you know, incentive programs that are going on, just, it, and it's sort of this full court press by the communities to support students, and a big piece of that has really been including student voice and mm -hmm. having students at the table to talk about what they want to see and what they need from adults in order to get to graduation, and that's been key. And it seems to be working. You mentioned that in a relatively short period of time that that's been in place, the graduation rate has increased Quite, yeah, quite we're at historic highs of 85.4 percent and it's all due to the work that's going on in those communities mm -hmm. and it's been pretty significant and really exciting. They have a student um, idea was this pledge to graduate and so right. we have these pledge to graduate events all across the state that are student run and student decided and of oh, thousands of students have taken the pledge to graduate across the state and it really is just I pledge to graduate because and you have an adult supporting you or somebody who signs off and holds them accountable to that pledge. Right. And it's been pretty pretty fun. And a companion initiative, I guess you would call it to that, is one that's called Attendance Matters. Mm -hmm. And talk a little bit about that one as well. So and what we've noticed is chronic absenteeism in school can really, that is one of the key things that leads to later dropout. And so, you know, looking at how much a student how many days a student is missing. If they miss even just more than, even two days a month, that adds up and that's counted as chronic absenteeism. And if they miss that much, they're much more less likely to learn to read, to learn to do math, and much more like less likely to graduate from high school. And so September was Attendance Awareness Month. We put a big push on that. There were a lot of schools engaged in that and really focusing in on how to get kids to school, making sure that they're celebrating attendance right. and really working with communities to talk about the importance of showing up 
and we know that when kids show up, they're going to learn, they're going to read, they're going to do math, and they will likely graduate. And have you been able to see the same kind of successes with that initiative as you have with uh, the original? Yeah, I, I mean, I've traveled around this fall to, to schools that were engaged with Attendance Matters. Mm -hmm. They had great events. I mean, full school assemblies, talking about attendance, celebrating perfect attendance in schools, recognizing that type of effort. We had um, in Billings, they had a group of um, community members get together and go door to door in their district to mm -hmm. really talk to parents about the importance of having their kids at school. And so it really was a good community effort directly tied to graduation matters. And um, I think we'll see a lot of that continuing and just instilling the importance of stu to students of showing up. And another issue and another initiative that mm -hmm. you've been very uh, active in is the Schools of Promise. Mm -hmm. Tell folks a little bit about that. Sure, Schools of Promise is really working with our lowest performing schools in the state, all who happen to be on Indian reservations, and that is really as a result of poverty. And when we look at poverty and we see that kind of deep generational, isolated, concentrated poverty, anywhere in the country we're going to see schools that struggle with academics. And so with federal funds through Title I, um, we work directly with these schools. We support them, we walk alongside them. Um, our newest school is Heart Butte. I was just up there last week and we do a full community meeting. We pull in everybody, talk about the importance of everybody pulling together and rowing the boat together so mm -hmm. that we can make sure those students are successful. And really again, a real strong student voice that we include about what do you want your education system to look like? What do you think is relevant? How do you want it? What do you want to do? And how do we get there to support you? And it's been very successful. We see in some of our schools, students and parents coming back to those schools now. And, you know, it's a mixed bag around the data, but um, increased graduation rates, right. increased academics. Was this a program that was original to the state of Montana, or was this something that was replicated in, uh, ha after having seen other programs in other well, states? Well, it's federal funds, and so we were, but we were able to adapt it to sure. our context. Um, because we had a very specific context, rural, Montana, on Indian reservations, and we are actually um, the leaders in this type of effort, and uh, the surrounding states are looking to us now mm -hmm. about that model because they have those same struggles in their public education system. And so I visit with North Dakota, South Dakota, Wyoming, Idaho, Utah, and right. really trying to talk about our model and how it's working and they're very interested in adopting that. So we're leaders in that area which yeah. is, makes us really proud. Sounds like a very good program. Mm -hmm. Well we've been in, uh, talking today with Denise Juno, who's the Superintendent of Public Instruction for the State of Montana. Ms. Juno, I appreciate you just spending some time with yeah, us. Yeah, thanks. That's Thank fine. you very much. Charter Local Edition has been an exclusive presentation of Charter Communications, providing original programming.